We will support the government if they take measures, as we have done with lockdown and all the local restrictions. But if I was the Prime Minister, I would apologise for the mess that we got into on testing. We wasted the summer when we should have prepared for this. Uh, I would make testing the number one priority, um, and I would set up again the daily press conferences to tell the nation what's going on. I am utterly frustrated with where the government's got to um, on this. Uh, we've had months and months and months to plan. What do we know? We know, because Sage advised it, that 500,000 people a day in the autumn and winter will exhibit COVID-like symptoms, usually because they've got the flu or a cold. Um, so 500,000 people are going to have the symptoms. Um, and so you need a capacity of at least 500,000 just to deal with those. We need NHS um, staff to be tested, care staff, and children, because what we've seen, we've been back to schools, what, three weeks now, and what we've seen is children going back to school, then having to go back home because they've got symptoms, usually the flu or a cold, classes going back home for two weeks at a time, and you cannot um, run an education system on the basis of children being in for a few days, back at home for a few days, back in for a week, out for two weeks. Uh, and there's nothing special about the first two or three weeks of September. This will be the pattern for months to come. So that's why we're saying put children in the same position as key, key workers and make sure they can get a test within 24 hours uh, and a test result within 24 hours and then back into school if we can. Because otherwise, we've had six months uh, loss of education and we're going to have months and months and months of this disruptive pattern and it won't work. Thank you.